Uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're disappointed that uh, that the tournament had to end this way, but also understanding of the precautions that we need to take uh, for the student athletes, for the coaches, for athletic department staff and the fans that are here um, and just what is going on across the country. And so, um, yeah, very disappointed, obviously from an athletic perspective, but obviously our jobs as administrators is to protect uh, and support our student athletes, uh, their health and well-being. that is paramount. And uh, this is a step and a precaution that we definitely had to take. You guys are the only school in the league that has both the men's and women's teams their seasons end without a loss. So, I mean, <laughs> as far as just displaying Montana State's products, that must be vastly disappointing for you. You know, it is. I, I got a chance to go in and meet with uh, with the coaches in, in each team, and uh, you know, the emotions are, are very high uh, because they're as you prepare all year long for this chance, and then to have it taken away with something that is completely out of your control, I, I get it. I, I completely understand it. And I think one day, and as the emotions kind of wear down, I think they're going to understand it as well. Um, but as of right now, the immediacy of this, it hurts. You know, it, it really does hurt. But, uh, you know, as we've said, at, at the end of the day, I think everybody is going to see, look back at this and say that these are the right steps that need to be taken place. Could you just walk us through the kind of the decision making process, kind of how you know how things just kind of came together? Yeah, you know, ironically, um, well, we had our ads meetings down here on Tuesday, and the presidents were scheduled to meet this morning. Um, you know, they said that a long time ago. So, timing of it uh, was very kind of ironic and coincidental. So they met this morning. Uh, you know, we knew that they were meeting, and we knew that this was going to be a, a topic of discussion. Uh, we felt as if, you know, we were going to move on with the tournament being played in front of no fans. Uh, but then I think as you saw the uh, the domino start to fall here this morning and with the, the swiftness that it did, uh, we've, you know, in the back of your head, you're saying, okay, this is it's going to happen to us as well. And then uh, shortly after 10 o'clock, we jumped on a conference call with the commissioner. Uh, they had met with the presidents, the, the conference officials, arena officials, and they made the decision in the best interest of student athletes in the conference tournament to, uh, to cancel the tournament. Obviously, the emotions are still raw, but what's the feeling among the seniors specifically? I think that's the hardest part. You know, I, um, on the men's side, looking at Harold Frey and, and Layden Ricketts and you know, you have the kid from Montana who came back and, and uh, you know, a lot of the Montana kids, young kids, my kids look up to him as a Montana kid that can that can play Division One basketball at Montana State. Uh, and then you look at Harold Frey and everything that he has meant to Montana State basketball, you just feel for him. You know, Harold wanted that one that one shot to to play in the NCAA tournament and have a chance to uh, to compete in that. And then you go to the other side with the, the seniors on the women's side and you just feel for them. I and mean, a historic season that they were having, one more win would have broken the all-time school record in wins. Um, but even having a team, you know, Trish has built this team up over four or five years to really do something special and, and to compete in the NCAA tournament and possibly win some games, you feel for them because as an athlete, as a former athlete, this is what you work so hard for. Um, and to have that taken away is right now is really, really tough. Again, the immediacy is, is very emotional for them, um, but hopefully they can look back at what they've accomplished and be very happy with what they've accomplished and satisfied with what they've accomplished and understand that this was the right decision to make. So other universities have already canceled spring sports. Have you, I know we're so locked into basketball right now, yeah. but have you given that thought and where, where you're at? You that? know, it's, we're working with our conference officials and we're working with our university to see what, what the next steps are. Um, our university has a, has an incident response team that is that is assessing the entire situation. Um, as of right now, those are still a go. We haven't heard anything otherwise. Um, we actually pulled a team off the road. Uh, track was supposed to go to Cal State Fullerton, the javelin throwers to throw. We said, you know what, just with spring break coming up, let's just take it easy on that one. We have one uh, one team on the road right now. It's tennis. I just got off the phone with, with John. Um, working with, they're going to NAU, so I'm working with the NAU officials to see what they're going to do there. And um, they were supposed to go on to New Mexico, and I believe that the Mountain West just uh, canceled their spring season, so they're not going there. They're going to turn around and come home. But we're talking about, you know, do you jump on a plane? Do you do you jump on a bus? How you know how are you going to get home? And those are the only teams right now that, that we have on the would have had on the road. So uh, working with the with the tennis team to see how we can uh, how we get them back and, and what the actions are moving forward. But 
we will, as an athletic department, we will move in the direction that the university, you know, tells us to, and uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll follow the procedures that they that they tell us. It's kind of been a thing all week, just that this could be a possibility. Did it really hit and really start feeling real yesterday when some of the larger tournaments started, you know, not letting fans in and things like that? Is that when things really started to feel more serious? Maybe? Yeah, you know, I think I. I I got the feeling when when Dayton did it, you know, to have the first four events and have no fans, and then all of a sudden the NCAA tournament comes out and says that. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you felt like as this, as everything started to trans, uh, transfold, that you like, okay, this is it's going to hit us, and, and, and we're going to have to do something. And um, yeah, I, I just think I'm I'm just shocked at the the immediacy of, of everything and how quickly that it did happen. And kudos to them for you know everybody for making those decisions and with the best interest of the student athletes and the programs and things at, at, at heart. But uh, yeah, it, it's still surreal. I don't know if it still hit us yet. It's um, it doesn't feel it feels like it's a like it's a dream right now. It doesn't feel like it's real. What is the information that you were given about the virus itself and what the spread of it is that that felt like for whoever was making those decisions that this was the right one? You know, we haven't received any of that information, and, and that's where we leave all those decisions to people, uh, you know, whether they're the health officials or the conference officials, they have more of that information. We don't have any of the detailed information, but as you see it with other athletes now contracting it, like in the NBA and things like that, um, and knowing that it spread through big crowds, it, you know, it just made, made a whole lot of sense to say, okay, let's take a step back and take a look at what we're doing here. The NCAA rules really read that, <clears throat> excuse me, if a conference tournament began, then the top remaining seed gets the automatic bid if that tournament is canceled. So if the NCAA tournament does happen, will the Montana State win make them, I mean, will they take that auto bid? Well, we would be in line for right. that. Where we go from here, I have no idea. You know, we haven't discussed whether or not we would want to put our team on the road and, and go play in a, an environment such as that. I think there are others that are saying that they wouldn't do that, um, but we have not discussed that. Uh, I would be shocked if it does go on, if the tournament does go on, as they've stated, but uh, we'll have those discussions later on if, if that does come to fruition. With, with only you know one game left in the women's tournament, I guess just kind of, what, was there any consideration of you know, moving the schedule around and get, get that game in? No, no. 